So, welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to be using Grasshopper and Excel to batch create hundreds, if not thousands, of Revit families in seconds. Obviously, you would never create thousands, but the point is you can do that if required, which is why this tool works so well. First things first, though, please do hit like and subscribe. Liking, at the very least, is very good for these videos because it makes them more reachable, sorry, shown more to more people just like you who may get some value from this video. So that would be very much appreciated. Anyway, let's get started. First things first, go to denarianalytics.com and go to 3D models. This is where you're gonna download the script for free. So we come down to Grasshopper for Revit, drawing production and setup. I'm going to change that to model setup. Uh, come all the way down to create family types. This is what I'm going to be showing you how to use today. And you can download that wherever. I'm not going to download it because I've already got it. So now, how do you use this thing to save a phenomenal amount of time? First things first. It's designed to take the file name of the Excel spreadsheet that has all your sizes on and use the name with the script. But first thing I'll show you, to those of you that don't know, to create a new family type, I'm gonna undo everything. I've got, I've got these families loaded in. This works, by the way, for architectural, structural, and MEP families, any family, however complex. So I need to duplicate this type, <coughs> give it a new name. <coughs> Obviously, I, I would give it a proper size name, not 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 like this. Then <coughs> double click it and then change the dimensions to say 400 by 500. So you can imagine in a real <coughs> engineering project or architectural project. This particular task kills momentum if you're doing it in between other tasks or if you're doing it in bulk. It will take like 10 minutes to do 20 of these, maybe even probably less than that, but it's very long and tedious. And like I said, it kills moment momentum and momentum is speed. And if you kill that momentum, you're losing speed and losing time during other tasks. That's why this grasshopper script is so important because it saves this amount, this huge amount of time. So I'm gonna delete that. To use the script, all you need to do is come here, get the family name, copy, and come to the location on your Windows, create a new Excel spreadsheet, paste, right? Then you come and you copy the name of one of these types that's already loaded in and you come back to the Excel, Excel file, you add a comma, no space, after the family name that you just typed. Right click the type name in there, no space in between, no space at the end, has to be exactly the same. So what's between the star and the comma is the name, the family name, and then what's between the comma and the dot has to be exactly the type that you're going to duplicate and change. Then you open it up. I'm not going to open that one up. I'm going to show you one I made earlier that is based on this one. It doesn't really matter which one of these you choose. So now we've got the name, the sizes, and so on and so forth. Obviously, the naming is can be long if you do it the wrong way, but I'll show you a quick and easy way to do it some, for something like this where you're just taking one number and the other number adding an X in millimeters. So copy this equals c-o-n-c-a-t concat open bracket <coughs> 100 comma quote mark space x space quote mark comma click the second one comma quote mark mm for millimeters close quote mark close bracket done named now you drag that down and it will do that for all of these. 
then you copy that selection and you come here you paste values only yeah and then you can delete this so that's your spreadsheet done based on the sizes you've put in <coughs> I've also added the type marks just to show you can do it you hit save that's it for other things like more complex items universal beams etc etc the naming convention is different so you can name those however you want in general you could probably go to somewhere like Raynham Steel and get the table out there get ChatGPT to repurpose it and another crucial factor is to make sure the name of the parameters you want is exactly as it is in Revit spelt the exact same way with the exact same capitalization and that's it really um, Cool. So, you come up to Rhino inside Revit, so that's this thing up here. You click Start, and then you launch Grasshopper. Once that's launched, you say File, Open Document, and you open your Family Types Creator. And then, you just go, you open up the family that you want duplicates of or you set that to this file and that's that that's that done oh I don't know how I did that why is there a hmm. never mind that won't be a problem for you then you select one existing file you go to this other one and uh, for the universal beams as you can see there's only one in there and there's the new one and then for concrete square, that's all of them done. Now, if you've already got it open and you want another one, let's just say the concrete square, one four hundred, and then uh, for this one, I'll just do the naming thing like that the manual way just for to get it done during the video you just go here uncheck true check f uncheck false uh, or double click and that's it so you got to double click this to make it work that's that added and you can see B is 1 400 all of the sizes in here are perfect the type marks done as well one of them, the blank ones were already in there before they went in the spreadsheet. So that's why they're not set, but you can set those as well manually. Anyway, that's, that's it done really. That will save you a lot of time. So in eight minutes, I've explained everything. I've created all of these, all of these, and all of the, well, both of one of those. And that, would have taken me about 10 15 minutes it would have been incredibly boring and it would have killed my momentum so use this tool it's free go download it it's safe because the elements in here are untracked to those of you, those of you that know a bit about grasshopper if you use a tracked tool which i never provide on this website it will well, if you don't know what you're doing, you could ruin a project and you don't want to use those. So don't worry about anything you download on here. All of it is perfectly safe to use. And uh, also go back. Let's, let's go to, let me show you. Um, feel free to go visit denarianalytics.com where you can go get some 3D models, download some art, check out my GitHub, read my writing see my recommended reading learn some recipes I haven't, I haven't filled this out yet and Denari Fitness coming soon how do you get a six pack as a busy professional and maintain it that's my uh, specialty outside of all of this stuff I know I don't, I don't look it but um, yeah anyway remember to like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff see you on the next video